Hello, we're Amarillo Design Bureau and these are the new products we released in February. We have the Destroyer Leader and Destroyer, a Guided Destroyer Pack, the Fast Destroyer and Scout Pack, the Andromedan Terminator, the ISC Battleship, and, by popular demand, the metal version of the Juggernaut Intergalactic Space Battleship. Now to give you an idea, here's the Terminator, one of the smallest and nastiest ships in the game system because every time you shoot at it, it uses its power absorbers and its mauler to shoot your energy back at you. And here's the Juggernaut, a beautiful sculpture by Tony Thomas, wonderful space monster that's been around the game system for years. This isn't all we released in February. The big release was the 2010 version of Federation and Empire. New rule book, new counters, new sticker on the box. We also released the rule book itself as a separate item for people who wanted to upgrade to the new set of rules. That wasn't all we did for F&E players. Based on a request from one of our people, one of our players, we took all of the Federation and Empire material from all of the captain's logs, put it end to end in a massive compendium book. This isn't even in stores unless you special order it, but it provides you with one place everything that was ever in captain's log. You don't have to hunt down 20 issues of captain's log to get all the f &E material. It's all here. Federation Commander got a new booster pack, Booster 92. This includes eight new ships that have never been in the game. Yes, it's all bonus ships. These eight ships are weapon variants of existing ships. That is to say, existing ships which have different weapons than the ships that are already in the game. And rounding out our releases for February and improving our Starmada line that we do in cooperation with Majestic 12, we have the rules annex for the Starmata Admiralty rules, adding a lot of new capabilities to that game system. This is what this company did in one month. We're here for you guys. Thank you.